wake the children. Oh, no, I don't want they're still awake. What? Yeah, I promised them some milk and Christmas cookies, okay? Okay. I'll get the milk. Would you mind getting the cookies, dear? They're still in oh, the oven. Yeah. I haven't taken them off the cookie sheet yet. Say, that looks good. Yeah. Oh, there are the folks. The door's open. We're in the kitchen. Oh, well. Oh, uh, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Mom. Sorry. Merry oh. Christmas, darling. Merry Christmas. Well, your mother said that you would want these presents to put under the tree tonight. Oh, my, they look exciting. And I thought I could give you a hand with all the work for tomorrow's oh. meal. She oh. just wants an excuse to putter around your new kitchen. Oh, well, it would be fun with a wonderful kitchen like this. Oh, I'm so glad you children took our advice and got a Frigidaire kitchen. Yeah, so are we. Your father and I have certainly had grand service out of our Frigidaire refrigerator. And goodness, you know, it must be all of 20 years old. <laughs> Mother, for once you can just sit down and relax on Christmas Eve. I'm all set for tomorrow. Oh, I'm so thrilled Jim and I gave each other this kitchen for Christmas. Oh. You should be thrilled. I've never been so relaxed before a holiday. My baking's all done. Everything's all ready to pop into the oven tomorrow morning. And even then, all I'll have to do is just set the dial and go in and enjoy Christmas around the tree with the children. Hey, where'd you hide that candy I bought? I can't find it. I wanted to be sure we'd have some left for this evening, so I hid it right over here in the washer. Oh, oh very <laughs> clever. Hey, what else you got in there? Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> 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 well, Santa Claus sent me over to supervise the trimming of the tree. Shall we get started? Oh, swell idea, Dad. Look, why don't you start unraveling these lights? That's right. right. Give Dad the hardest job. Uh, don't <laughs> you worry. American ingenuity will solve this. Well, look, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take this milk up for the kids. Oh, I think I'd better come along and tuck uh. them in. You tell them Santa won't come till they're sound asleep. Good idea. We'll be right back. See you in a minute. Okay. Well, very efficient. Mm. You know, Anne's getting to be a pretty good baker. Of course, cooking's so much easier these days. My, how things have changed since we started housekeeping. Certainly have. You remember when we used to use candles instead of lights like these on our tree? <laughs> oh, by Jove, it worked. <laughs> well, but lights are safer, I suppose. Well, I was thinking mainly of kitchens. Why, my mother, me too, for that matter, used to stay up half the night preparing for the big Christmas spread and then get up at the crack of dawn to finish for all the relatives. Right. <laughs> but nowadays, you just set a dial and your meal's cooked. You push a button, your wash is done without even getting your hands wet. Sure is wonderful what's been accomplished in our lifetime. But, mother, well, I don't know. What? What do you mean, dear? Well, dear, I'm wondering if young people, and we older folks too, take all these things for granted. What I mean is, when we turn a dial that does something to make our lives easier, that dial, is, to me, is sort of a symbol. A symbol uh, that, uh, to me, is a most wonderful symbol of, of things that, that should help people out. And it's like a dream that can only come th through when men are able to think and talk as they please. You know, Mother, our greatest riches are not just these things that we've been talking about, like sinks and, and lights and automobiles, but the freedom that makes them possible. The freedom that allows men to work for peaceful things that benefit everyone. Yes, that's why on this Christmas Eve, as I smell Anne's good holiday cooking, as I hear the church bells, and as I think of Anne and Jim and the children upstairs, I want to say a little prayer of thanks for all our blessings, and especially for the freedom to think and work and worship as we please. Oh, I hope that may never change. 